triple header Saturday and we get you started at the Cintas Center in Cincinnati for the Connecticut Huskies in town to face the Xavier Musketeers. Mike Stevens, Lamar Simpson, Wally Ratecki on the whistle. And we actually have fans here, just under a thousand. Just ahead of Butler, too many athletes on this team to continue to play slow. But they are a great rebounding team and an early offensive board. And then the left-hand hook for Adama Sunogo, who's really coming on, Donnie. Three up top, Jackson, and maybe that will help calm UConn. Transition, you have numbers, you cannot hold that ball up. Great feed, RJ Cole right underneath to Sunogo. It's simple, he's a rim protector, runs the floor great, has again, really good feel, knows where to be on the glass. There's a three-pointer from the top of the arc. Welcome back, a cook, a cook. UConn's feeling that again. At least they got a couple back. Well, they are a great offensive rebounding team, best in the league. And an offensive rebound here leads to a three from R.J. Cole. Oh, that was a, a great closeout. Here's a cook. He hit the three a moment ago. Now driving it inside. Welcome back, a cook, a cook. Defended by UConn those last few minutes, but also more one-on-one -on -one that Xavier's been trying to do on their own. Three-pointer knocked down for Isaiah Whaley. The go here this afternoon. Here's a cook, a cook. That one almost accidentally got knocked up and in, and then Polly made sure it went down. If you put a big guy on him who black shots, he'll take it to three-point line. Really is a tough matchup. Coaching staff loves him. A captain is a sophomore, and I think that we are finding out that a cook, a cook is fouled there on Odom. Take a look where, where Zach Fremantle is. That's not going to get it done. A cook's going to come to here. He can't drag it. I understand. But Cole picks the ball up. So there's no reason for you to, to have cement closer to him. But three games and just two points for a cook, a cook into today. He's already got eight. Fremantle, no with the left hand. Rebounder, physical. You don't have to run anything for him. You know he's going to give you his complete total effort. Ball swings. Every guy looks towards the basket, not necessarily to score, but to see if anyone else is open. Another three-pointer, Tyler Polly. Tyler Polly, 6'9". Good to get up underneath him, but that's just too easy. Over the top, UConn up five here in Cincinnati. Almost took him away from the basket and that front end there. Probably should have just powered through, try to get a foul. And a bucket for R.J. Cole. Like how UConn is taking early opportunities and not not waiting for that clock to get too low. I mean, they're just and that it, it, now you have opportunities yep. like that. Not today. Take your opportunities when they're there. You don't get them a lot. Scruggs keeping the pivot foot alive, but the shot blocked by Sonogo. The look. Here's Cole, seven points in his second game off the bench. Across the way to Gaffney, who fills it up. Crowd wanted a turnover there on a cook a cook inbounding the ball. Cole wide open. Nobody was near him on Fremantle. He struggled. But here's Scruggs. He only took three shots in the first half and had two points and misses the three there. Great Euro step and a strong finish for Martin. Threes now for the transfer from Gardner Webb. Here's Martin backing down Johnson and he takes advantage with that height size that he has. Kick out to Scruggs. But his off afternoon continues. Oh, well, you gotta to find Andre Jackson. In transition, getting out ahead of the defense. I'm thinking of Andre Jackson. Yeah, you gotta, here he is up here. I love it, but but the ball's getting secured underneath. Good look ahead. That's just a simple one. I, I, I this country. Connecticut trying to get back to their first NCAA tournament since 2016. Oh. Fremantle, yeah, he started 0-3 here in the second half. Great defensive play by Whaley there, getting a piece of that jump hook from Fremantle. Carter with a drive, another rejection at the rim. Well, Whaley is one of those guys who was questionable. That's a little bit of a block party, as they call it. Gregory with 5.3 a game, so right around there again. Here is Whaley, lets it go, and knocks it down. They gave him the shot, he took it. Mark from Johnson. Well, they play Tuesday. I, that's what I'm eyeing, is that Tuesday, because it's about six weeks from when it happened. Yeah, for book night. Yeah, for book night. Offensive board, Martin, count the bucket and the foul. Tyrese Martin flexing his muscles at Cincy. So is this guy, Whaley, in the lane. Up and in, and the foul again. 
First bucket for Odom, another freshman. Holly, shot fake, move to the left and bury it. On the roll right at the end. <laughs> it looked pretty, though. Yeah. Here's Fremantle again. Why not go back to that well? Well, that's why. Rejection from Whaley. Yeah, I see what Zach Fremantle was doing here. Nice dribble, gets it to the front of the rim, thinks, oh, I can go with the left, but you have to be in a good position. Here's Cole, buries the three. You, you got to know where he is. I mean, that is a guy who can score the ball. And another block shot this time by Martin, a brand name at least, that we're recruiting him. And he's from Teaneck, New Jersey, and he was vocal about wanting to play in the Big East. Nice finish, Tyrese Martin off the spin. Backs against the wall here a little bit, down seven at home. Cole, RJ Cole is cold-blooded. Isaiah Whaley face up mid-range. Things can happen, including a basket. Great drop off, but Whaley had it knocked free. Now Martin out to Cole. Here's the guy. Yes, again. Yeah, but you know, this is still a very good Xavier team without question. And again, their first practice as a team was Thursday. Great feed. Martin with a finish. This is the UConn team you see for the rest of February and into March. Look out. And they do put up 80 points. Final seconds. Kunkel. Won't matter, only in the stat sheets, and no good, and UConn gets their second quad one win of the season.